And we're live. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's your man, James, Mr. Sequential Treasures, uh, back again for another little live stream edition here for you. Uh, this time I'm going to do a little something fun. Uh, we've got another unboxing, this time of the the uh, Indiegogo book, uh, Graham Nolan's The Chanu. But uh, before we start in any of that, I just want to say I hope you all had a, a good holiday there. You had a good Christmas and uh, a good New Year's. Um, hope you got, you know, everything you wanted. Uh, this is our first uh, live stream of the year, so it should be kind of fun to start things off with something fun, especially considering uh, in recent days certain things have been going down that are not so fun. So to have something a little, a little light to uh, to do to balance out all the dark, I think is kind of important. So uh, glad we can uh, bring this to you. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, like I said, I hope you're all doing well. I just had uh, my birthday a few days ago, and uh, that was a you know nice. Uh, Got some uh, some cool stuff for myself, and uh, as you can see, yes, I finally was able to get my hair cut. You know, 2000, 2020 will always be known as the year without a haircut for me, because that's pretty much how that went. So I'm glad to uh, finally have the locks back under control, not always falling in my face all the time, and having to wear a hat everywhere because it's hanging in your eyes. Trust me, like I said, it's... You know, I just turned 47, and it's like, you know, last time my hair was long like that, I was about 17. So, you know, it's a lot different dealing with long hair when you're 17 versus 47. So, you know, yeah, it's just, it's a good thing to have, but uh, I'm glad you could join me today. And uh, let's we'll say we get right into it. And here we are as our package, the Chanu from Graham Nolan right here. I and Again, I'm, I just want to state for the record, once again, I, I love these Gemini mailers. They are so, so well done. I, I wish this was a standard for all people who ship comic books, you know, to prevent damage. Because you, know, you can see, like, right here on this one, the, the corner here gets damaged, but the book is way in here. So there's no way the book got damaged. I like that. So let me get our trusty box cutter. Remember, kids, always get your parents' permission. Do not try this at home. I am a professional. And let's say we'll just. Open this puppy up. There we go. Okay. All right. And what do we got? Oh, we got a cool Chinoo bookmarker right here. Kind of neat. I like that. And we got us a Chanu trading card. And looks like, uh, oh, was this a sticker? Oh, that's kind of fun. Haven't seen that before. I remember when stickers were a big deal. Remember Garbage Pail Kids? Or am I dating myself a little too much there? But that's yeah, pretty sweet. And let's see. What's this? Oh, a little note from uh, from Graham Nolan thanking you for uh, supporting the Chanu, which, you know, I was happy to do. I've always liked Graham's work. So, But now I guess it's time for the piece de resistance, the book itself. As you can see here, I've got the uh, the variant cover. I didn't get the... One that's the close-up of the monster's face. I wanted something that felt a little more, you know, since this has a whole horror movie feel to it from what I've seen, um, I thought it would be kind of cool to uh, get one that sort of reflected more of the story. See, you got the monster outside, you know, he's, the evil is right outside your door. I like that. I like that, that whole visual effect. And then I like this little spot shining here on the, the title that's a nice touch and you can see it's a thick book it's not it's not thin and yeah oh there you go right here from and i like that he went black and white with it but just with that touch of color just with red when there's like blood or whatnot involved i like that that's a nice touch i uh I've always thought that you know black and white is, is can can oftentimes be better than oh wow there you go seriousness 
This is serious horror, folks. This is not this is not for kids. A little beheading action going on. But yeah, I like the black and white. You know, it gives that old time feel. You know, and I, I love I've always like I said, I've always loved Graham's work. It's got a very smooth, polished feel to it. Um, you know, I, his his work on Detective Comics with uh, Scott Hanna, I think they, they they were like one of the best creative teams ever to work on the series. I mean, I'd be I'd be hard pressed to pick anybody who I think was better. You know, maybe maybe Norm Brayfogle and uh, Steve Mitchell, or maybe Jim Aparo and Mike uh, Mike DiCarlo, maybe. But that's about it. Seems yeah. So you know, it's so you can hear just it's just how he can just. A simple scene like this, the way he lays it out, you know, it's just, you know, just like like right there, that close up of those eyes. I mean, look at that. I mean, it it, it it's even without the dialogue on there. If you just saw just that image, I mean, you wouldn't, you don't even really need the dialogue. It's it, it's it's all right there. It's all very expressive. You know, it's very, you know, you get the emotion of the moment just from the visual. You know that's that's not something any artist can do. There are lots of artists who who can who can draw nice illustrations and everything, but uh, when it comes to uh, to doing like actual storytelling, visual storytelling, they don't really have the kind of chops. But Graham has them. Here's another one I like this right here. Look at that. I love the the shape of the creature being used to create the panels. I like little layout tricks like that. That's you know, really really kind of cool. I like that a lot. You know, um, let's see. Oh, here you go. You're yeah. You know, just it's it's just I really, and I'm a big horror buff too. So that that that's definitely what made me want to. Oh, here you go. The money shot. Right here. Your money shot. This is what this is what you always look for when you're watching horror films and things of that nature is the money shot and there it is right there. Like I said, I'm I'm a big horror buff. I really uh, really enjoy the genre, so I was I, I was it was it was a no brainer for me to help uh, help Graham support this. Here's another one. You know, monster breaking through. I said this, this looks to be very interesting. It's it's from what I understand, this is is a, a based off of something that he uh, he heard about. You know, a, a concept of uh, from uh, when he was. I think he said something about a, a blizzard and uh, how it involved uh, you know uh, people dying, and so he he used this whole thing of people dying during a blizzard, and it's a monster that does it. It's not the cold. It's not the not the not the weather that gets him, but. Uh, uh, there's a second story in here from 1977, the supposed uh, genesis of the Chinoo right here. Yeah, this, yeah, this is part of what he he based the original story off of, which I thought was kind of interesting, taking something from real life and, you know, using it to, uh, you know, here you go, more of that expressiveness I was telling you about. I mean, just, you know, just look at those those faces and those panels. You know, I say almost without the dialogue, you can still get the story and understand what's going on. You know, and that's that's not easy to do. I, I, I you know, I've seen many artists who who fail to be able to do that. Oh wow! And then here's the uh, the thank you page pages, I should say, for all the backers. I'm in there somewhere. <laughs> yes, and on this one too. It's you know, I'm in there somewhere and all that. But yeah, this this looks really cool. I like, you know, I also like his company name, Compass Comics. I like that. It's a nice, nice touch. So yeah, this definitely looks interesting. I'll uh, definitely be checking this out. Uh, can't wait because, uh, like I said, it, I'm, I'm a big horror buff. It to me, horror is probably one of the best genres of you know any any entertainment field, whether they're movies, television, you know, comics. Horror is it it, it it's really it really is can speak to people in a way most other genres can't, you know, it, it's got, you because it, it, it can be dark and yet still have moments of light. It can be, you know, uh, 
you know, speak on horrific things, but not necessarily show you it, things like that. I mean, it, it, there's so much you can do in horror that you can't do in, in other types of uh, formats, like, you know, drama or comedy, or it's, it's really, you know, horror can encompass it all. You can have drama, you can have comedy, you can have romance, you can have action. It's all in horror, you know, in, in one, 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 one genre, one, one uh, archetype and I, that's why i've always loved horror because it has so many different things can be a part of what horror is and yet at the core you know it's it's it always remains true to itself no matter what else is injected and uh i'm hoping that's going to be the case with this and uh, graham's got a new one coming up here he's got uh what is it called uh, alien alamo you know so i guess now we're going to go a little more in the sci-fi uh world rather than the direct horror but it should be interesting. So yeah, like I said, very interesting. I, I like I liked what he did here. The art is beautiful. You know, it, like I said, it's it's Graham Nolan. It's you, you can't get much better than that. And uh, so I was really looking forward to uh, checking this out, and uh, it was really pretty cool. So I, I I liked it. If you if you didn't back it, you know, um, maybe see if you can contact Graham. See if he has any uh, extras around anywhere he can share with you. You know, because I I definitely would say to check it out, like just based on the artwork alone. You know, like I said, I, I like the black and white, you know, to me that that's starkness, you know, it's you know, one of my all time favorite horror movies is Psycho. And, you know, it's the black and white really, really plays well with the whole suspense of the of the of the film. And I, I'm hoping it'll be the same thing with the story in here. That's what I hope. I'm sure that's what Graham is shooting for. And so hopefully, uh, hopefully hit that mark when you know, after I've read it. So. But yeah, it's definitely definitely looks good. I can't wait to to dig into that. Um, and like I said, if you if you've bought it, you know, let me know your thoughts. You know, in the comments below there, if you you've got this book and you've read it, you know, let me know what you think. Um, you know, or let me know what you thought of the art you saw here. That'd be great. Just drop drop a comment down below. Also, throw a like if you liked what you saw here. And uh, before we uh, conclude this uh, this uh, live stream, we're going of course we're gonna. We're going to do some uh, screen sharing with some stuff because we got some stuff we're going to plug here. And of course, we got uh, if you want to keep up with uh, what's going on with Sequential Treasures, make sure to uh, head on over to our uh, MeWe page, our MeWe group, where I post all kinds of stuff all the time. You can see right here, here's some of the latest stuff from Wednesday. Our, my, my, creation of comic art Wednesday where I take a piece of art from one of the artists I work with and I you know publish piece and just post it up for you to check it out you know all kinds of cool stuff you know also earlier this week was Jerry Cerner's birthday so you know that's that and any new works to come out any kind of major news for our artists or the industry I'll try to throw that out to you there so if if you can if you're on me we uh, come on over and join the group it's it's a it's a lot of a lot of fun, you know, try to keep, we try to keep it light, you know, we try to keep it fun. Like I said, we, we, we know there's a lot of people who already cover uh, the not so light side. So we try to get a little balance for everybody by covering the light. So just come on over and join us here. It's Quanta Treasures. And uh, after that, after you've checked all that out there, uh, make sure you head over and check out the comic art gallery right here you know where all the great art that we have available from artists is up for sale as you can see right now uh let me see if i can scroll down a bit yep there it is you know we got over 1400 pieces up right now it's like a record for us we've never had so much art before so there's plenty to see you know got covers sketch covers pages splashes you know paintings i mean pinups and any you know, prelims anything you can think of if, if, if it's if it's e even slightly comic related we got something on it so you know come on by and check our stuff out here we got like i said we got over 1400 pieces right now lots of stuff for you to to check out and order um i, I do ask you to be a little a little more patient with me on the shipping part considering that the uh, post office is giving everybody hassles anymore nowadays but you know, we'll we'll still fight for you. We'll still make sure to get it to you. Just uh, just hope you'd be a little more patient with us than, than normal. But uh, yeah, come on over and check out the stuff. And you know, if you see something you like, hey, hit me up. I'm always always willing to talk. You know, wheel and deal, if if I can. So, you know, check the stuff out. And that'll about do it for this uh, 
this edition. Like I said, I hope it was a it's just quick little jaunt here, but I hope it was a fun one. I hope you had some uh, enjoyment checking out the uh, Graham Nolan's The Chenu. And uh, make sure to check out on uh, Indiegogo. Check out his new one that will be coming up soon here, uh, Alien Alamo, because I'm definitely going to want to check that out, if, especially after I've read this. And if it turns out to be as good as it looks, then, uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to be, be backing Alien Alamo on that. So, uh, you know, I get to check all that stuff out. And until next time, take care. <laughs>